Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm going to tell you all about WooCommerce product translation. So if you have a WooCommerce store and wish to reach international markets, this is the video for you. Assuming that you've already set your WooCommerce store up, the next thing you'll need is the Translate Press plugin. You can install it for free from the WordPress repository or if you want to go the full mile and translate the SEO metadata of your products as well, you'll also need the SEO pack add-on, available with the pro license of Translate Press. Now, before we get into translating, you'll first need to add a second language that you want your product available into. So, let's go to Settings, Translate Press, and in the General tab, verify your default language, and then add a secondary one. Save your changes at the bottom, and you're ready to start translating. The first thing you want to do is go to the front end of your website and visit the product page that you want to translate. For this example, I'm choosing this hoodie. All you have to do now is hit translate page in the WordPress admin bar and this will open the translation editor. Once you're here, using the drop down menu at the very top left, you can change the language being displayed in the live preview on the right. When you choose the secondary language you're going to be translating into, the changes that you make will instantly show up on the right side as you go. The first thing that you'll notice once you change the display language is that some of the content is already translated. This is because those specific strings, called getText strings, come directly from the WooCommerce plugin. And since WooCommerce supports quite a few languages, if the translations are already available for your secondary language, they will be displayed right away. Now let's talk about the content that you've provided in the default language. When you hover over the product name, for example, a little pencil icon will appear. Click it and you'll see the original string on the left in the From English box, followed by an empty field for you to input your translation. When you hit the Save Translation button at the top, the page will automatically show the translated title on the live preview. Moving on, you can do the same thing with the product's short description, category, detailed description and so on. If your product has any additional information displayed in a separate section, all you have to do is navigate to that specific section and you'll have access to the strings available there as well. To speed things up, you can also use Ctrl S or Command S on your keyboard to quickly save each translation inside the visual translation editor. Now let's circle back to the strings that come with the plugin, such as the Add to Cart button. Although WooCommerce comes in 66 different languages, you might find that your desired language didn't make the list. So if that's your case, I have good news, because you can simply translate these getText strings in the same way I've shown you before. You'll notice that the icon is green in this case. That's how you understand that this string is coming from a theme or plugin. And another thing that is obvious when you click this button is that you get more fields to add translations to, including one for your default language. This is quite useful as it allows you to change even the strings coded directly into WooCommerce. So if you're not satisfied with their choice of words in the default language, you can modify it however you want. Now you'll notice that there are some strings that you cannot access in the usual way, namely anything inside the drop down menu. If that's the case, you can still access them using this drop down in the sidebar. Here you'll find every string available on the page so you can go through the entire list to make sure you don't miss anything. Be aware though that some strings only appear after you've taken a certain action. For example, after you add something to your cart, you get this message. Once it appears on screen, you can translate it like everything else, even if before that you had no access to it. Keep this in mind and test your site thoroughly for hidden strings. And for the final part of this tutorial, let's put the aforementioned SEO pack add-on to work. This allows you to translate more technical aspects of your site that are important for search engines. After you've activated this add-on from the add-ons tab, the translation menu will show some extra options. When you open the string dropdown, you will now be able to see the post log, which is the last part of this product's URL, and meta information like the page title or meta description that appear in search engines and browser tabs. Translating these works the exact same way. Now to make things even easier, you can use the built-in automatic translation from Translate Press and have all your WooCommerce products automatically translated. We also have a video tutorial on that, so make sure to watch it if you want to take this route. And there you go! You've now learned how to translate key parts of your WooCommerce product pages with Translate Press. 
For more information, check the Translate Press documentation linked in the description below. And for more useful WordPress tutorials, feel free to subscribe to our channel. Leave a like if you found this video helpful and thanks for watching!